I've introduced state using variables. Um, so here we have a variable weight and the point of a stateful variable is that the value associated to the variable can change. If we have if weight represents a single fish, we can have a feed function that changes the value of that variable. There's another way to approach state and that's what we're going to do first and that's to have mutable objects instead of mutable variables. So here weight is a variable but um, and it's, it's set up to have a box whose value is zero. And a box is going to be a, a kind of object that has a single field inside of it. And when you create this box object, you give the value for the field. So weight throughout this program is always going to refer to the same box. The value of the variable weight does not change. However, the value inside the box will change. It does so um, using setbox. So box is a plate feature that allocates a new box. Setbox changes the value inside of a box. And the other operation that goes with it is unbox. That's the plate operation that takes a box and produces the value currently in the box. So the feed function will use unbox to get the current value out. It'll be zero the first time, uh, and then add one to it. So it'll be one that first time. And then installs the one as the new value inside the box weight. Meanwhile, get size can get the current uh, size of the fish by, by unboxing weight, getting the current value out of that box. Um, the three uh, plate operations then are box to create a new box. Given any value, you get a box of that value. Unbox, where given a box of a value, you get the value out. And set box, where given a box that has some kind of value in it, and given the same kind of value, but a new one, uh, to put into it, then set box will change the value inside of the box. Set box doesn't return anything. We write void there. Uh, that's a value that's not useful for anything. Set box just has the effect of changing what's inside the box. Here's another view of the same thing. You can, I said a, a box is like a single field uh, object. So if you wrote it in Java, you might write something like this, a class box T that has a single field that has a T in it. When you create a box, you initialize that field. When you use set box and plate, that's like uh, changing the value of the field inside the object. And when you use unbox, that's like just extracting the value of the field using the dot operator. Right? So box, set box, and unbox are the new things um, that we're going to look at. The things that already are in plate, we're going to add them into our curly language. That means we're going to add box, unbox, and set box as new forms in the curly language. I'm also going to throw in a begin form, which is like plate's begin form. So the plate begin form evaluates the first expression and then evaluates the second expression. That's what it's going to do in curly too. So in this extension of curly, when we allocate a box that has zero in it, then we set 10 in the box. When we, after that, unbox, look inside that box, we'll get 10 out as the result. So these are the new forms that we need to add to our curly implementation. That means we have four new forms in our X data type, boxy, unboxy, setboxy, and beginy. They all have arbitrary expressions as the sub-expressions. When, uh, when you unbox, for example, you might call a function to go get a box, or you might get a box out of a box. It can be anything. So we allow an arbitrary expression there. That expression should produce a, a box value that unbox will unbox, and so on for set and, uh, and begin evaluates any two arbitrary expressions, ignores the result of its first one, and returns the result of its second.